Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I'm going to be doing something I haven't done before but it's a combination of a few things. So here we have some clear melt and pour base. We have my big slab mold. Now I'm only going to use this to make sort of like an inbed and I'll explain that in just a moment. Uh, the fragrance that I'm going to be using is Juicy Watermelon. I'm using 2% and as you'll have noticed you can now actually see the label because I have new lights above and they are working perfectly. I think, let me know in the comments below what you think of the new lighting system. Okay, so the deal is I'm going to be adding pink neon mica with rosewood mica to make the red for the watermelon. The base is going to be a lime green. This was a liquid color, so you'll be able to see through it. And I'm also going to be adding titanium dioxide for a white swirl. Now, once that's completed, I'm only going to use 500 grams. So half of this block is going to go into the mold. It's only going to go up to probably where that line is there. If that, I think that's even one kilogram, so it's going to be less than that. What I'm going to do from there is take it out, cut it into strips, and then put it into this, and then tip the rest of the clear around it. Now, when I use the rest of the clear, I'm going to be using white pearl mica, and I'm also going to be using this white sparkle glitter. So I haven't done this one before, so it's going to be... Um, Interesting to see, but uh, let's get started. 500 grams. I'm going to put this in the microwave and put it on 20 second bursts until it's liquid. And then I'm going to split it up into three lots and then we're going to pour it into a swirl. Okay, so my base is melted down and I'm just going to put it on the scale here and set it back to zero. And I'm going to add my fragrance, which is 10 grams. So the other part of the base, I'll also add 10 grams. So there'll be 20 in total. Okay, gonna mix that all up. To give you an idea of the temperature, it's 138 Fahrenheit, which is 59 Celsius. So it's at a really good temperature for me to split it up and to add the colors, because I've got a little bit of time to work with it. I wanted to get it under 130, so it doesn't um, merge with the other colors. I'm gonna try and split this up equally. I'm going to add this lime green, which is our liquid dye. This one here is going to have the titanium dioxide. So for the last one, I'm going to use some rubbing alcohol. And my other bottle died. So I'm using this horrible spray. I've got to try and find a better one because it's, um, it's not great. I missed the other one. I had it for... Five years. I miss you, buddy. How silly is that to get attached to a spray bottle? <laughs> okay, so I'm just gonna add some of this pink. And then I'm gonna add rosewood mica. And this makes this really nice red color. It's about equal portions, 50-50 of each one. And it creates this really nice red. But in clear base, it should be a lot more like the previous watermelon. If you haven't seen that video, I'll link it in the description below. Okay, so I'm just going to stir those three in. So to give you an idea, it's at 114, 112 and 114. So they're very fluid still, which is quite amazing. But I don't suspect that will last too long because one of them's getting a skin already. Here we go. Not fluid anymore. It's gone to a jelly state. That was really quick. Well, this is sort of very... Jelly like. Yeah. I'm gonna melt down these three again and then I'm gonna pour them in over the top of this, hopefully to fill all the gaps. Thank you. 
Okay, so I think this is firm enough to take out now. All right, let's see what we got. Yeah, that looks pretty cool. It's nice. Just reasonably flat. It's got a couple of little bumps here and there, but nothing too bad. So now this is uh, 24. Four and a half centimeters long is this mold. It is 29 that way and 22 that way. So maybe if I cut it at about, about 24. So now we've got four of them, but we want to take it a little bit further because I want to have probably smaller strips, probably one third of each one of these. So I'm just going to do this by, you know, by eye. We have a bunch of embeds here we can now add into our mold and then pour the clear base with the white pearl mica over the top of it. I think we should cut this one up into smaller strips. So we got a bunch of smaller strips too from that extra piece that I cut off and some large ones as well. I'm actually thinking now maybe these ones should be cut into smaller strips. Yeah, why not? All right, so we got small strips and big strips. I don't know how this is gonna pan out, people. I really don't, but we'll see what happens. Okay, so this is the remaining of the melt and pour, and I'm gonna melt this clear down, and then we're gonna add the white pearl mica and the glitter to it, and then pour it in and add my embeds. Okay, so I'm just gonna add 10 grams of the fragrance to this. All right, so I'll mix that in and I'll be right back. This is the white pearl mica. Just a white shimmery type pearl. On top of that, I'm also gonna add the sparkling glitter. Wow, that looks pretty good. So we're gonna add this whole thing. Whoa. Not sure you can see that or not. It's created like a cloud at the bottom. Amazing. I love seeing stuff like that. It's got that uh, silky type look to it. I love that silky look. Pity it doesn't stay like that. Now, if we had glossy type soap, it would be awesome, but this will turn into like a matte finish. As it is, that just looks so good. It's all stirred in. Okay, I'm gonna add a little bit of the, uh, oh my God, that looks so good. Just gonna add a little bit of it. It's quite hot, I think, but that's okay. I don't mind it melting a little bit of the embeds. This spray bottle is terrible. Actually, you know what? I'm just going to lay them out here on the table and spray them. Okay, so I'm going to tip the rest of this silky white pearl mica over the top. Hopefully that's seeping down. I can see a lot of bubbles coming up. It's 
So a couple of things I've noticed already. I probably should have added a lot more white pearl mica because this is kind of, it was okay in the pot, but once you get it in there, uh, on the other hand, uh, I was going to say that it's more of a transparent, but it has still got that shimmer to it and the glitter is still in there as well. I'm mixed because I can't see into it at the moment. I'm going to have to wait until it's completely cured and then we can cut it and see what it looks like. But I think if I was to do it again, I would probably add more white pearl mica to it just to make it a little bit more white saturated. So I'll be back in the morning to cut this and we'll see how it looks. All right, so it's the next morning and I am gonna unmold this. Oh, massive great big hole right in the center. Looks interesting. I didn't expect that to bend as it did. I don't know if you can see it or not. There's a great big hole. I could literally, I could put my finger in there. And there's another one further up. If I cut off this end piece, I might be able to melt it and, and fill those gaps and then start cutting. So I might do that because I don't want to ruin these bars by having these gaps in here. Okay, looks like it's fixed. Wouldn't even know that there was a hole there. We'll see what each bars look like. So I've marked the top of the loaf already. You can see there that there's a couple of lines and I'm gonna start cutting. All right, there we go. Okay, so there is a hole that goes right through. You can see it, it goes right through to the other side. See the white part? That's funny. Oh, there's another one. There's a few gaps in there. I just realized that that's a gap too. So it looks like there's only a few that have got deep holes that go right through like this one. And you can see there's a great big hole there. Um, so I'm going to fix those up and I'll be back. Okay, so I'm pretty happy with the way this turned out. A couple of things I probably would have done differently is made these uh, a little bit bigger. So at the moment they're really, really tiny, but they're still really nice because they've got the green and the red and the white in them. Uh, the other thing that I would have probably done is instead of compacting them straight in here and then pouring the white over the top, I would have poured a little bit of white and then thrown them in, poured a little bit more white and then thrown them in. And the reason is because when you do that, you don't create the the cavities between them, which I've actually had to fix um, with the leftovers. So if I poured hotter, it would have soaked into those little holes between the embeds. But apart from that, I'm loving it. It's It looks great. So if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and thanks for watching. So these soaps will be on my Etsy shop by the time that this video is released. They are for Australians only because international shipping is not existent at this particular moment in time due to the virus. Thanks very much.